Hey Funko Collectors, Funko Asian here, coming you some uh, new content video that I'm trying to do. Um, this is just not unboxing, but more of a top 10 Spider-Man Funko Pops that I love. Um, like I said, this is just my personal opinion, the ones that I love. I know you probably have your own personal list, um, but this is the ones that I based off of the Funko Pop, uh, the character, and where which one is it's coming from, and um, just basically my personal favorite. Um, obviously leave a comment and have your own list and let me know which one's your favorite. Um, but I'm just going to get started. So number 10, uh, I have the uh, original Spider-Man uh, Funko Pop. The uh, I want to say it's like the first lot, one of the earliest ones that Spider-Man came out as. Um, you can see here he's got the uh, hand sign right there for the spiderweb shooting out. And um, yeah, I just figured I'd give him a little recognition there because, you know, he was one of the first ones to come out as Spider-Man. And basically once I got him, I was like, yes, this is what I want. And I want all the other Spider-Mans that will come out in the future. So yeah, just figured he'd be number 10. Number nine, I did the game vs. Spider-Man game. Uh, I just figured uh, with the new game that came out, this is like basically the 2018 of his new suit. Um, it's got a nice clean trim to him with the white. You know, obviously we just see the black, red, and blue, but now they put a little white in it, which actually brings out the suit itself. And then I like the action pose and the game is amazing. So go ahead and check out that, that game. And um, this is number nine. All right, number eight, I have the Iron Spider-Man. Um, I like this one because um, this is one of the very first ones that came out with the uh, arm attachments. Um, obviously, this is with uh, the Iron Man suit feature, so he's got that little uh, blaster on his hand palm there. And uh, I think it was in the Amazing Spider-Man, the Disney version, that was able to come out and have him feature the suit out. And um, yeah, this is one of the like uh, likely ones that I like here. I like the gold in color. That's why it's uh, number eight in my book. Number seven. Number seven, I did Miles Morales for the new Spider-Man uh, Into the Universe. Um, obviously, all the Spider-Mans that we have here are Peter Parker. Um, so I like this one being a new, you know, other different dimension, Miles Morales. Um, the black spider suit, which is pretty nice, pretty different, and I like his action pose, and I'm hoping to see the movie soon, because I heard that one was really good, so, yep, this is number seven. Number six, I did the Avengers Iron Spider. Um, I think this one is very cool. Uh, this was one of the uh, features for the new Avengers movie that he put in his suit, you know, Tony Stark gave him the upgrade. And um, this is really nice. Well, I guess it featured first in uh, the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. He just didn't pick up the suit. Um, but yeah, so this is he's got the old classic pose with the hand sign. So that's why I liked it. And he's very metallically, metallic colored shape color, you know, because he's got he's really shiny when he holds it into the light. And um, yeah, he was one of the uh, ones that I thought was really nice. Number five, I went with the six-arm six spider. Um, for those who don't know, I love Spider-Man from Fox Kids, the animated series. So this brings back a lot of memories. Um, the way I remember it is that his mutation was getting worse uh, to where he did grow the extra four arms. And then he ended up turning into a man spider, which then I remember the Punisher and Kraven the Hunter helped and tried to cure him. Um, but yeah, I just like this one because there's a different touch to him, you know, a different... Um, Funko Pop uh, based on Spider-Man's universe that's really different, you know, because he's got six arms. And um, if you count the legs, that's eight, hence, you know, eight arms for Spider-Man. And um, yeah, I do like that, and that's uh, my numbers, uh, can't count right now, uh, number five. Number four is Spider-Man 2099. Um, I think I like this one because it's the futuristic Spider-Man that I have here. Um, this one really reminds me of, uh, I'm a 90s kid, so Fox Kids with uh, Spider-Man Unlimited. Um, when they did that uh, short, like 13 episodes, and it got cut off, which was really a bummer. Um, but yeah, I do like him. He's the old classic. He got the whole classic Funko um, posture there with the arms down. And um, I really hope they had that cape because in the comics he did have a little cape on the side of his back. But other than that, you know, this is my number fourth pick and he's just really cool. Number three is my other homecoming or uh, yeah, homecoming Spider-Man. Uh, this one is the homecoming with the uh, headphones. 
and the uh, yellow jacket. I like this one because I think it's very comical, very funny. You know, he's got the headphones on, he's got the eye posture motion that he looks like what's going on. And um, Homecoming is far my favorite Spider-Man movie. Um, really close behind to the original one, Tobey Maguire. Uh, I just didn't like the, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield. I think that one was just a little off. I just didn't like it. But yeah, Homecoming was my favorite one so far. And I just like this one because it's very different. It's got the school uniform and everything. Number two is my black Spider-Man suit. Um, so this one I like, it's very iconic, is because it was one of the introductions to Venom. Um, I'm, again, I'm going to reference uh, the Fox Kids when um, he got the Spire suit and then once he took it off, Venom came and appeared and I was like, wow, Venom looks amazing. So that's why I have the anti-Venom shirt on and I have the collection for the Venom. Um, but yeah, this one was really good. This one I really liked. Uh, this one was basically, you know, the first symbiote uh, suit to come out. Um, him and then him controlling it and then realizing that it's just too much for him and then he was able to take it off him. And yeah, it's sleek, black, and then obviously this is one of the older lines of Funko Pop, so he doesn't have an action pose to him. He just has the uh, bobble head. So before I go to number one, um, I know there's some honorable mentions that I wanted to do that didn't make the list, only because I just didn't feel like I liked them as much as I like here, these top nine. Um, with number one, I don't know, you guys might be surprised which one's my favorite, only because I like his storyline. But some honorable mentions, we actually have the Spider-Man Noir. Um, which is, you know, obviously that one with a different universe from Spider-Verse. Uh, the GameStop exclusive of Spider-Man the Game. So this one's glow in the dark. Uh, Superior Spider-Man with his arms. That's the Walgreens exclusive. Uh, the Spider-Man stealth suit, which is Hot Topic. And the last one that I d uh, have here is the Spider-Man big time suit. I do have all like different other Spider-Man Funko Pops. Um, these are just my top nine, and then the honorable mentions that almost made the list. Um, there's other few Spider-Man Funko Pops that we know of. I just didn't want to use. So um, for number one, I basically picked the Scarlet Spider. This one is probably my favorite one. Uh, my favorite Spider-Man. I think the whole because of the whole storyline that I like. Because you know he was a clone, and he decided to uh, you know make it different for himself. So instead of Peter Parker, he called himself Ben Riley. And then he has the whole like sweatshirt. I thought that was different. And then the Spider-Man suit itself, I thought that was really cool. And from the series and comics that I read, I just like him better. I just I feel like the storyline was a lot really uh, something there. So that's why I liked him. And I went scouring through all Walgreens to find this guy when I first started collecting. And um, this is him. So this is my favorite one. I'm pretty sure none of you guys would think that would be my favorite one. But yeah, it's only because I like uh, the story and the con and the um, the comic series. So yeah, so these are my top 10 Spider-Man Funko Pops that I love. Um, hopefully I can do some more comments, uh, more topics like this, and more videos. Uh, I really do like doing these, and it's really cool. And, um, you know, just to connect with everybody, trading and collecting Funko Pops is something I really like. Um, uh, like my uh, channel and um, subscribe to it. And guys, make more comments. Like, let me know which guys your favorite uh, Spider-Man ones. And um, probably I'll do some more top, you know, top anime or top... Uh, video game pops that I like or uh, different ones that are different postures um, Other than that. Yeah, this is my video um, From my previous video that I had uh, like I said next week is Christmas So I probably won't be making a video for that um, only because I'll be going home and uh, really wanted to relax um, But I just want to say uh, thank you so much I started a few months ago and I'm um, so far having many subscribers come in and every day letting me know that this is great content And I really want to do more for you guys. So, you know Keep watching, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, happy holidays, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.